I've been following a high fat animal based diet for the last six months and it has given me my life back after I was swimming in health problems. After I regained my health, I finally had the brain space to notice some subtle but huge improvements. So today I'm breaking down the 11 amazing side effects that happened for me when I stepped into an animal based diet. Let's get started by talking about benefits to the brain. Red meat has many compounds that lead to happiness. I'm going to get into the science based evidence uh, in just a second, but first I want to ask you a question. Have you ever eaten a steak? and then felt happier afterward. I feel so much better after eating a steak. And it's not just because I have mastered the reverse sear and I can make an amazing steak. There's actually science to back this up too. Steaks are loaded with a lot of great compounds that affect mood. Steaks have a lot of iron, tyrosine, creatine, and zinc. And then you've got the umami flavor and the fat of a nice cut of steak. All of those things contribute to a better mood. But the one thing that is absolutely tipping the scales in the favor of steak making you happier is the B12. One 18 ounce steak has enough B12 in it to basically be half of a small injectable B12 shot. Animal based diets are built on the foundation of ruminant animals. So that's going to be your beef, your lamb and your bison. Animals like this are loaded with these vitamins and minerals that are proven to uplift your mood and make you happier. And I know I've seen that for myself too. Okay, so steaks make you happy, but what about mental health, like depression or anxiety? Okay, you can have depression and feel moments of happiness while still being depressed. So a lot of people who have eaten animal-based diets have reported mental health benefits, um, like less thought rumination, when they are on a animal-based diet. I see comments like this all over the internet, including this channel. If you have any experience with this, um, I'd love to know in the comment section. The relationship between meat and mental health has been so well documented that in 2020, there was a meta-analysis study. There was a group of scientists and they looked at a pool of 171,802 different people and examined their relationship between animal products and mental health. And it was conclusively shown that meat eaters have less rates of depression, anxiety, and other mental illness. This is probably the biggest reason why I eat an animal based diet because even when I was eating a healthy diet, I was depressed and it took me making this dramatic shift in my diet to realize how depressed I actually was. When stressful things or sad things would come up and they always will come up in life, I would find they would just get stuck in my head. I would ruminate on them and they would just rattle around in my head for hours or even days to the point of even like suicidal ideation. I had been seeing a mental health professional for years and I made a lot of progress there. I had been doing the work for years, but still struggling with thought rumination. Back in my old healthy diet, I would get bad news or hear stressful things like all of us do and it would just stay in my head and rattle around. Now um, my head is like Swiss cheese, um, full of holes. It's in one side and out the other. Things just don't hold a lot of weight with me. I can get really bad news and things are fine. Now I want to be very clear. I'm not saying trauma is not real. I'm not saying depression and anxiety aren't real. And I'm not saying diet can fix everyone's issue on this. But I can say conclusively that after doing many, many things, many therapies, many years of working on this, diet was the last thing that I needed to change uh, to really upgrade my mental health. Okay, let's talk about mental clarity. We all know that carbs cause brain fog. Have you ever had a very carb heavy lunch and then crashed in the afternoon? Michael ate an entire family sized chicken pot pie for lunch and then he promptly fell asleep. So I've had a lot of carb heavy meals in my lifetime and uh, I can say this is absolutely true. The truth is your brain runs on fat, particularly cholesterol. Did you know that your brain is the highest concentrated area of cholesterol in your body? Reducing carbs and increasing your fat will give you more stable and consistent energy throughout the day. For me and my full time work from home desk job, I used to find myself completely dead by 2 or 2.30 p.m. I was utterly unproductive and useless after that time. Now, after going animal based, I can continue throughout the entire day and really find myself getting into a very deep like flow state at work. Now there's a lot of layers to mental clarity and I think all of them contribute from this animal based diet. One of those being better sleep. After being high fat animal based adapted, I gotta say I have had some of the best nights sleep of my life. No, let me take that back. I've had the best uh, consistent sleep of my life period. I find that I am very in tune with my circadian rhythm now. So when the sun goes down, I get tired and I fall asleep easy, I stay asleep, and I have very restful sleep, and I wake up at around 5.30 a.m. every single day consistently. I don't need an alarm clock. I wake up around the same time as my kids or just before my kids, and 
I feel great. Now, if you're animal-based or carnivore and you find yourself struggling with sleep, here are three really quick suggestions. Number one, eat more meat, especially emphasize fatty cuts of meat or butter. Number two, drink more water. Um, you're gonna need more water. And number three is electrolytes, particularly magnesium glycinate. That is a specific mineral that will really help you have a sustained sleep. Once you're adapted to this kind of diet, you're gonna have the best sleep of your life, which leads me to another benefit. You're not gonna get sick. More restful sleep leads to better health, which leads to just not getting sick. Anyone with little kids in grade school knows um, how easy it is for them to pick up a sniffle and bring it home. The cycle in my house when we were all eating healthy, and by the way, healthy meant we were growing most of our own food or buying it at the farmer's market, okay? We were eating very, very well. We were still getting sick constantly. My kids would bring something home every month. My wife would get it. Sometimes I'd get it. My wife in particular, this has been a game changer for her. She was getting sick about every four to six weeks, staying sick for an entire week. She would be sickest the longest and have the most severe sickness. After she and I have been animal-based for six months, she has not been sick once. So that's a big deal for us, especially for her. There's probably a lot of contributing factors to this. I think the biggest one is just that um, sickness loves sugar. You don't eat a lot of sugar on an animal-based diet. Now our kids, they still get sick sometimes. I think that's normal for kids to do. They're working on their immune system. They'll still bring sickness home to us. It just doesn't actually catch us. There'll be times where my wife or I will uh, see that our kid is sick and kind of just prepare for it. And maybe one night we feel like we might be getting sick, but after an amazing night's sleep, we wake up and we're fine. So something's coming and going, but our bodies are strong enough to repel it. If you've had a similar experience, um, share, because I haven't talked to anybody about this with carnivore or animal-based, and I'd like to know, is anyone else not getting sick with this diet? Okay, now we're talking about libido. Yes, we're going there. People who eat a lot of meat constantly talk about online how great and high their libido is. In fact, it's very well documented that there is a positive relationship between meat consumption, especially red meat consumption and libido. And there's plenty of people online willing to share their experiences. So there's a few reasons for this. Number one is the amount of fat that you're gonna get from an animal-based diet. It's well documented that there's a relationship between fat and sex and mood hormone production. So think about this from an anthropological standpoint. Animals, including humans, reproduce when times are good. When you have a belly full of calorie dense fat, your body signals, hey, we made it. We're in the land of plenty. It's time to create another life. And then obviously the reduction of carbs uh, helps your sex drive as well. It's also been shown that the consumption of red meat leads to higher testosterone production for both men and women. Yes, women produce testosterone too. And high testosterone leads to higher libido for both men and women. There are so many studies out there that correlate red meat consumption and libido between both men and women. And what's more, there are many anecdotal cases where people are sharing their experiences online. So my wife and I got into this diet to improve some health problems. But regarding this particular thing, I will just uh, professionally say, that I agree with all of these studies and all of these people online. And for those of you wondering, yes, I do have my wife's permission to say this to all of YouTube. Okay, now we're into the bonus section. This section is about time saving. A real quick benefit is your meal prep time will considerably go down. Think about it. You're not chopping vegetables. You're not waiting for water to boil. You're not preparing sides for your meals. Your meal prep time will drop considerably when you're eating an animal-based diet. Which is great because all this uh, time not spent in the kitchen means you can spend more time enjoying your newfound libido. For me, when it comes to meal prep, all I'm doing is seasoning the meat and waiting for my cast iron to heat up. It's pretty easy. Speaking of saving time, let's talk about all the time that you're gonna save on the toilet. You are, you're just gonna poop less on an animal-based diet. I have read that a lot of people, when they go animal-based or they go carnivore, they have diarrhea for the first little bit. I did not have that problem. In fact, the reason I went animal-based was because I wasn't pooping. Between you and me, I, I went 10 days without pooping and I was so backed up, I could feel it. And I was pounding fiber, I was pounding berries, I cut out dairy, I did everything. And honestly, animal-based or carnivore diet, that was the last thing that I had tried. So I went for it. And within two and a half days, um, I had a bowel movement and it was, I. Ladies and gentlemen, I was emotional. I'll spare you the details. Um, so there is a difference between constipation and not having the urge to go to the bathroom a lot. So a lot of people have issues where they're on the toilet three to five times a day and it's an emergency every single time. Um, carnivore can feel like constipation to those people because you're not 
rushing to the bathroom that often. It might be two to three times a week. That's not because you're constipated. It could be because you just have less mass to cycle through. Meat is so much more bile available than plants that it's literally just less waste to pass. So if you feel good and it is easy to pass the stool on the, on the toilet, you're probably not constipated. And that's a great benefit because that's less time on the toilet. Unless you're really big into like, that's your like words with friends time. Okay, this last section are just kind of like weird things that I noticed that were benefits. Number one is that you're gonna stop enjoying eating out anymore. You'll just find, at least I found, I can't, I can't find a restaurant that can cook a steak better than me, okay? I don't enjoy paying the fat markups for poor quality meat cooked by someone that can't do it as well as me. Okay, another benefit is that you're gonna learn who your real friends are. Now, I know that sounds harsh, but when you say to people, I don't eat plants, people look at you weird. And you're probably gonna learn pretty quick um, which one of your friends is gonna be worth hanging out with after that. Because if you have people who are constantly bugging you, belittling you, it just gets annoying really fast. And you'll be in a much better mental state, as we talked about earlier, to realize you don't need bad people in your life. So I really do feel like it's a benefit. A really good way to talk about this with people is just say, hey, I'm trying an elimination diet, eliminating things like sugar and carbs and eating a lot more meat. Which brings me to my next point, um, and that is that you will become very good at cooking meat. And because all you're cooking and preparing is meat or animal products, you're gonna get very good at that one specific thing. Many carnivores become very good at cooking eggs, fish, bacon, chicken, ground beef, and of course, steaks. I have 47 other quick tips, emphasis on the quick, about how to start carnivore or go animal based. I put that together in this video. So if you're thinking about doing it, make sure you watch that video because thousands of people have already gotten benefit from that and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching today and good luck. Go have a steak. It'll make you happy.